What's going on my Team 3D Kings out there? You all know I hate doing videos at night because the lighting is horrible and it just, I don't know, the quality just comes out bad. But anyway, I've been procrastinating this video for way too long. I'm making my um, <clears throat> garlic mushroom sauce. It's uh, Right now my macros are, I don't have the exact numbers memorized, but I'm high in fats, low in um, carbs, and kind of like average on protein. It's not a keto diet, so don't even worry about it. It's not a keto diet, it's just... I'm increasing my fats because I want to keep my testosterone levels healthy. But anyway, so I'm making my garlic mushroom sauce. It's delicious because I love mushroom. And I don't want to buy mushroom pizza because, like I said, I, you know, I'm reducing my body fat percentage. So I'm looking for a substitute. So it's a great sauce to make with, um, if you're eating brown rice or if you're eating just veggies. You can put it on top of pretty much anything. I'll put it on top of anything. Um, first thing I do is I have this. Um, this is my, my log, my recipe log. This is where I put all my recipes, whatever. Whether it's a recipe I saw in a magazine or something that I customized myself, I write it down. This is where I have my ingredients on the left side and the directions on the right side, just in case. You know how like you don't cook something for a long time and you kind of forget what to do. So I always write it down so I could always go back to it. And, um, and look, I have a notepad for everything, guys. But anyway, so I have the ingredients here and the directions here. So first thing I'm going to do is before I start cooking, I move everything out the way, right? I move everything out the fucking way. And I just start getting my ingredients. And I put my ingredients on this side. My scale is here in, in, in case I need to weigh anything. Now, as you all know, as bodybuilders, we can't just make food. We can't just read a recipe and just do it. We got to actually count the macros. So we got to have like the portions and everything like that. That's why I make sure I have my cups up here and I have my scale. But anyway, um, I'm going to show you guys the ingredients. All right, guys, here's a quick look at the ingredients. You're going to need some parsley. You're going to need um, half a lemon. I'm going to cut this in half. You're going to need half an onion. You're going to need two garlic cloves. You're going to need some heavy whipping cream. Just a little bit because it's high in fat. You're going to need some chicken broth. Make sure it's low in sodium because most of them bitches are saturated with sodium. Black pepper. 100% extra virgin olive oil. And some salt, obviously. Oh, and how can I forget? You're going to need some mushrooms. Portobello, shiitake, it doesn't really matter. You just need some good tasting mushrooms. Alright guys, next thing you want to do is you want to chop up your garlic. For everyone who knows how to chop garlic, you know that if you're going to put garlic into a salt, you want to turn it into a paste. So what you want to do is you want to take salt, you want to chop it up in little pieces, and you want to put salt on top. What happens is, if you took chemistry classes, salt absorbs water. So it's going to draw the water out of the garlic it's going to make it into a paste. So you want to put salt on top, wait like 30 seconds and start like mashing it like this. You want to squeeze it and then press down. It's going to turn into a paste. I'll show you guys in a minute. Alright guys, next up, once you cut up your mushrooms, I have more here. You want to put three tablespoons of olive oil and you want to have it on medium, not high, not low, medium. Once it heats up, you want to already have your onion chopped up. I'm gonna throw it in. All right, guys. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna add your mushrooms to the. Um, once your onions are kind of like, you start hearing that sound, that sizzling sound, you wanna throw in your mushrooms. And this is a lot. It's more than I usually use, but don't worry. After the water comes out, it's gonna shrink in size. And you wait about a few minutes. All right, guys. Next up, you wanna add your salt. After you put the onions and the mushrooms, you wait it like two minutes. You wanna add the salt, and then you wanna let it. Um, let it heat up for 10 minutes. So I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. Alright guys, after 10 minutes of your mushrooms cooking, as you notice, look, they got smaller. A lot smaller because all the water evaporated. You want to add the, the um, garlic paste. And you want to like stir it up for one more minute. So see you in 60 seconds. Alright guys, after this you want to put lemon, half a lemon. Not the whole lemon, just half a lemon. You want to squeeze it in. And you want to put your parsley that you obviously cut up already. Get in there. Parsley, parsley, parsley. Put the rest of the lemon. And then you want to put this here. That's, uh, that's about half a cup of the chicken stock. And 
And you want to wait two minutes until it boils. All right, guys, now this is almost done. The last five minutes, you want to just take a quarter of a cup of that heavy whipped cream, put it everywhere, and just mix it up, and wait five minutes until the cream thickens. And that's it. See you guys in five minutes. All right, guys, it's the final result. Doesn't look like the most tastiest thing, but trust me, it tastes like heaven. It's freaking delicious. The reason why you don't see all of it here is because I started eating it. As you can see, I have my pork chop here, and I have my lettuce and carrots and whatever. And I have the mushroom thing. I was hoping it would be daylight so I could show you what it really looks like under proper sunlight. Right now, it just looks like shit, pretty much. But it's not stools. It tastes very great, delicious. Try it out. You won't regret it. You can mix it with rice, pasta, bread, anything. I'm just cutting right now, so I got to eat it with this. You know, no grains. But oh well. Try it out, guys. Tastes real good. Team 3D.